These are two network bridge which has formed the wireless connection between the camera and the NVR. The camera video is sending back to the NVR through the wireless channel. Can we add more camera to the system? Of course. One of the typical solutions is we can add extra network bridge. Let the master bridge to handle signal from different direction. Obviously, it's going to make the receiver, the master bridge, tough to deal with the multiple bridge. Is there any better solution to deal with this situation? Here's the auto QE switch, which can be used to gather the camera video together before streaming back to controllers through the ECS wireless channel. Thanks to the, to the POE technology, not only the data, but also the power the switch can provide to each of the cameras. Alright, now let's make a quick connection. Firstly, I'm going to take the cable from the network bridge and connect to the port number A of this switch. So it's going to form the connection between the switch and the wireless bridge. It leaves us seven ports which can power seven PoE IP cameras in the field. This is the waterproof power supply unit which can provide the power for all the cameras as well as the, as well as the data itself. Right now, I'm going to connect the power supply unit to the switch. This is the connector. Once we plug in, we can see the indicator is turned on and the switch is start running. One of the critical things to choose the equipment for auto it has to be industry grade product, which can restore the right, right temperature. The temperature can go up quickly in summer after sunrise. Now, let's just pick one of the ports and to power our existing PoE camera. This is the punch code. We are going to use it use to link the port to one of the switches, one of the camera. We just pick one of the PoE ports. Once we plug in, we can see the camera just getting the power, and we can hear the camera starting up. This is a remote zoom camera, so it will take a while before it get the best focus. All right, we can see the camera's live. So now we still can add six of the camera to the system. Does this camera has to be close to the switch? It's not necessary. Each of the camera could be 100 meter far from the switch. You may just need to consider the total power budget while you're choosing the power supply unit. Make sure the power budget is enough to supply all your IP cameras. One last thing you may want to know how many cameras you can put into this wireless tunnel. There's data chart you can reference to. With this two model, you can transport a unit to make a piece of IP camera with single wireless connection in three kilometers. Thanks for all today. Don't forget to subscribe us. Any question about this POE switch, please leave us the comment.